Hello, my name is Tom Feldman, and in this lesson we are going to cover some of the slide songs of the great Blind Willie Johnson. Now, Blind Willie Johnson recorded about 30 songs between 1927 and 1930, and of those songs, only 12 were used with a slide. And I know that there's some great debate as to whether he used a uh, bottleneck slide or if he used a knife or, you know, any number of things and whether or not he played on his lap or played upright. But any way you slice it, it's some of, some of the best then and now slide guitar ever recorded, in my opinion. So we're going to take a look at eight songs of his. And first, I would like to uh, talk about choosing a slide as well as finger picks and uh, your guitar strings. And just very briefly, there's a number of slides on the market nowadays. And I would strongly recommend just trying out as many as you can um, to find the one that your ears respond to. Uh, I know that I've gone through quite a few over the years, and I've settled on a glass bottleneck one. This one's actually a hand cut from a wine bottle. I personally prefer glass, but then again, it's personal preference, so definitely go experiment and find one that you like. Uh, the other thing that you should look at when choosing a slide is, depending on what finger you're going to use, now with this style of music, Blind Willie Johnson, the majority of the slide is happening on the first string, so you're not fretting, you're not chording, so you could literally use any finger for, for your slide. I use my pinky, but whatever finger, you're going to want to find one that's snug to your finger. Now this isn't cutting off any circulation, but it's snug. I can easily take it off, but it's, it's on, so I don't have to it's not loose when I'm sliding. I don't have to adjust. It's not rattling around. It's very comfortable. So certainly find one that fits well. And the other thing is the length of the slide. Now, if you look at someone like Fred McDowell, he used a slide that literally covered maybe that much of his finger, which obviously he, he used that finger. So it'd cover that much of his finger. But again, he was using just sliding mainly on one string. So the slide can be as long or as small as is as, as comfortable for you to play. I have one that's, I would say, of medium length, just for the different styles that I play. But certainly, again, find one the lengthwise that meets your needs. And that brings us to the finger picks. Now, I use a thumb and two fingers, uh, again, somebody like McDowell, he just did thumb and first, and I would wager to say that Blind Willie Johnson probably just used the thumb and the first. Being from the region that he was from, that was a pretty typical way of playing for those guys, so that's probably what he did as well. And you'll see, out of habit I wear two, but you'll see as we're playing mostly on the first string that you really are doing more pinching than than anything else, so certainly whatever is comfortable for you. I use plastic finger picks. Again, just personal preference. I like the way they sound as opposed to metal finger picks. But again, there is certainly a number of different types of finger picks out there, and they're very inexpensive, so certainly try some out. Find the ones that fit you and are comfortable for you and respond well to your ears. And lastly, we'll talk about the strings. Now, I have a resonator guitar, and it's a wood-bodied resonator guitar, so I use a mixture of heavy to medium. So the bottom half is heavy, the top half is medium. And I have some other guitars, some other resonator guitars, where I just use a strict heavy set of strings. But, you know, you can get away with, with a little bit with, with these wood-bodied ones. So if you're using a regular acoustic, I would certainly use a medium gauged set of strings. And since we're going to be tuning down to open D, which um, 
every single one of these songs is in open D tuning, I would even maybe recommend swapping out the 13 for like a 14, and that will certainly uh, meet your needs more so than I think that 13. So we've got the slide, we've got the finger picks, we got the strings. Now let's uh, get into tune. We're going to be, as I said, in open D tuning, and, uh, which I already am in. So I'll just briefly explain. What you're going to do is you've got your D string, and you're going to take your 6 and your 1st and tune those down to D. So that one should sound like that. Should match those. Also the first and the fourth should match. So you've got three Ds. Moving on to your A stays the same, and you're going to take your B string, your second string, and tune that down to A. So three Ds, two A's, and then your G string, tune it down to about F sharp. Now, I know with some of my guitars, it's not a hard F sharp. It's just basically we're going to get a good open D sound. And again, like I said, we're not going to be fretting. So as, as long as you get a good, good chord, it's in tune, you're good to go. So we're going to take a look at uh, our first song. Now what I've done, I will certainly say there's not a, a quote unquote easy Blind Willie Johnson song, but he does have slow songs and fast songs. So we're going to start off with the slower songs. And the first one that we're going to look at is by and by, going to see the king. Let's take a listen. <laughs> 